If you have not completed physical activity for a while, you may want to get the all clear from a healthcare professional before starting. Slight soreness for a day or two after completing these exercises is normal. For the exercises, you should find a sturdy support such as the kitchen counter or the back of a sturdy chair. Wear sensible shoes and loose comfortable clothing. Keep some water handy and have a chair nearby to sit should you need to take a break. In order to do the following exercises, you should be able to have enough balance to stand independently or with very little support for the duration of the exercise programme. So today we're going to do a standing exercise programme. So we want you to stand in front of a nice countertop or sturdy chair. You can choose to have both hands on the counter or one hand on the counter, but come into a nice upright posture and what we'll start with is some marching. So we're going to lift the knees up and down on the spot. Do this at your own pace, but try and keep lifting those knees up throughout. Going as far as you feel comfortable. Great pace guys, keep it up. Now we're going to keep marching, but this time you can incorporate your hands if you feel able. Good, and if you don't feel steady, just keep your hands on the countertop. It's completely up to you. Brilliant. Can you do 10 more seconds? Excellent. Keep going. Super. Now relax your hands and getting into that nice upright posture again. We're gonna lift both heels off the ground and down and again. Good. We do three more. Good, one more. Excellent, and slight change now. Can you bring your toes off the ground but keeping your heels on the ground? Super, and down. Just go for as far as you feel comfortable. Three more for me. Good, posture upright throughout. Last one. Good, upright posture and a nice deep breath for me. Super, well done. Next exercise we're gonna do is some mini squats. So you want to have your feet hip width apart. And what you're gonna do is bend both knees and hips at the same time, going down and up. Excellent, let's do five of these. So it's as if you're going to pretend that you're going to sit down on the chair, but you change your mind and you come back up. Just go at your own pace. Excellent. Okay. And next we're going to do some hamstring curls. So you want to bend your knee back and down again. We do the same leg. Three, four, and one more, five. And can we switch to the other side? One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. Okay, nice deep breath for me. So next we're going to do some side steps on the spot. So we take a step out to the side and back. Super. Three, four, five, six. Now you can hold on and bring the leg out to the side and back in. Stick with that same leg. Super. If it's too difficult, just keep with your side steps. And we'll switch to the other leg. Good. Now remember, you could hold on with both hands or one hand, whatever you feel comfortable with. Good. Okay, now next exercise, we're going to look at some hip extension. So you want to make sure you have space behind you. And again, you can hold on with both hands or one hand. So we're going to tap our foot back behind us, keeping that knee straight. 
go at your own pace. That's two, three, four, two more, five, six, and switch legs. Good. Now keep remembering your posture when you're doing these exercises. Now, a little bit more difficult is going to be keeping the leg off the ground for the next four. Now, if it's too difficult, you just keep with the taps, still working those muscles. One more on that leg. Excellent. And we switch. Good. Remember, you can do the taps if keeping the leg off the ground is too difficult. Really good. Now, for the next exercise, you want to make sure you have enough space between you and the countertop. But you're going to do some hip flexion. So you're going to bend your knee up towards your chest. Excellent. Go at your own pace. You can always hold the leg up there for a little second longer to make it harder. Really good. Last one. Good, nice posture again and nice deep breath. Super. The next exercise is gonna do some hula hoops. So we're gonna twist our hips round in a circle. Go as far as you feel comfortable. You might feel a little bit of a stretch as you do it. We do three one way and then we'll do three the other way. Excellent, really good. Now coming up into your nice upright posture, we're going to do some shoulder rolls. So make those circles as big as possible. We'll do three one way and then the other. Really good. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to move on to is some shoulder flexion. So for this exercise, you can keep one hand on the counter as you move the other arm up as far as you feel comfortable towards the ceiling, back down and the other. Excellent, keep going. Really good. Now this time you're gonna keep lifting your arm up, but can you go over your head and feel a stretch on the side? Good, remember to keep both feet on the ground when you do this. One more on each side. Really nice. Super. So next exercise are some bicep curls. You may want to grab a little bottle of water or a tin to make it a little bit harder for yourself, but it's really up to you. You're going to hold your object with your hand and you're going to bend your elbow up to your shoulder and all the way back down. We do five. That's three four, five. Brilliant. And switch hands now. So going all the way up, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Pop your object down and I want you to take a nice deep breath with a really good posture. Excellent. So we're going to finish with some neck stretches. So keeping your upright posture, first I want you to bring your chin down to your chest, hold it there and then come back to midline. Now can we look over one shoulder as far as you feel comfortable and the other way. Really good. Next you want to bring your ear down to your shoulder. Don't hunch up your shoulders in this exercise, then the other way. Super, now do those three stretches all again for me. And just a reminder today that we generally did five repetitions on each exercise. If you build up your repetition slowly, it will help you to improve your muscle strength. Super. And let's finish with a nice deep breath. 
good now remember to drink some water throughout and especially when you finish stay safe and stay healthy brilliant work today guys